the lesions and uh, suggest you have multifocal abscess. This is the diagnosis by the uh, person doing the CT scan. So at one end we have the person ultrasound reported as normal. That is all within the course of uh, I can say within the course of three weeks. So uh, another person says um, on the CT we could see that there is large uh, lesion, such a large size lesion. I want you to go back to there. I, I will request perhaps a record side. Uh, yeah. 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 So what would be your impression? I mean, this is not a, this is not a sort of, um, uh, I mean, you are not very clear, but this is what a uh, sort of picture we have. What would be your differential diagnosis? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are some pictures you put it wrong? We don't have pictures. No, no. It not Ultrasound is reported as normal at the um, ACS Medical College Hospital. What, what is the duration? Duration. Don't mention me. Duration. 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 What is the duration between the ultrasound and the CT scan? Two weeks. Two weeks. See, one fallacy or the what, what will happen in ultrasound is if the liver abscess is iso echo equation. That is the almost a parenchymal echoes, same as that of the liver echoes if it is there, then we will tend to miss it in ultrasound. Ultrasound the same echoes like the parenchymal echoes. Once it liquefies, the echogenicity will vary, then we will be able to see the abscesses. So that would have happened if immediately for two days, three days later would have done this CT scan, same thing is there, then the ultrasound. Is that that would have yeah, yes. Ultrasound, ultrasound will have a homogeneous, similar, but it is a thick one. It is not liquefied or the abscess is not necrosed. Right, that time it will appear like a normal one. Two to three weeks later, that arteriosum is growing and then a necrosis has happened. Then we will see like this. And uh, this is typical uh, that cystic area. See what, what you are seeing here. This is uh, uh, in the posterior, exactly in the anatomical area. The posterior superior surface of the liver, there irregular and uh, uh, hypodense area and the necrotic area is there. So this is typical of an abscess. Any other sections? This, this is showing the one on the right lobe. Maybe this small things, whatever is there, they may be in the left lobe of the liver. Doctor, side. Would it be the only diagnosis or something else? Uh, contrast. This is contrasted only. This is only an abscess only first diagnosis. The second diagnosis. Hydrated cyst will appear like this, or it can be a simple, simple cyst within the liver. This is a 43 year old, anyhow, I have looked at about the, I mean, when I asked the um, uh, doctor to do a sort of a biopsy of this thing or take out the abscess, or uh, although I know it can be risky to sort of drain an amoebic abscess, but I said we have to have a tissue diagnosis. The patient, I must. Um, Tell she was in severe pain all the time, pain radiating to the shoulder and pain in the sick. Severe in the right hypochondrium and epigastric region. Severe pain she had. In spite of various medicines, I thought we had uh, sort of uh, given a diagnosis. But when we did the biopsy, they, they couldn't draw any fluid. They drew only the tissue. The um, person doing the biopsy said, "I can't. There's no fluid there. I can see only a tissue. He drained the tissue and." The biopsy sent turned out to be a phalangiocarcinoma. Mm. Mm. This is the surprising thing in this case. And I told this um, gentleman who did that, I mean, doctor who did the CT, I said, would you offer any further diagnosis because the person doing this, because they are about four or five days time before we could get the biopsy report. He said the this is a strong possibility as uh, Professor Venkatasai also said, maybe hydratid or maybe even tubercular. Tubercular abscess we didn't consider because it's not, it's not very usual. We thought of amoebic abscess, there was a possibility, but this is a cholangial carcinoma. Mm -hmm. And that to be a 43 year old lady. Biopsy proof at two places, Apollo B. Centric, turned out to be a cholangial carcinoma. The idea of this presentation was your patient, uh, patient pain persists. Till we have a diagnosis, we are not sure. Once it is abscess, you will have associated fever. Was it there? She had fever for one or two days. 
And that was the reason which you forgot I treated and treated with uh, superfluxes. Uh, Dr. Magnet? What is the treatment she had? See, I, I, that, they prefer to go to Apollo uh, Taylor Bay for treatment. Dr. Prince, I measured the whole field number. Will there be any help in the three differential diagnosis, hydrated abscess and colony carcinoma? This, uh, when you put the Hounsfield unit in this necrotic areas, it will be of a 20 40 like that. Hounsfield units will be there. Then, uh, hydrated cyst, depending upon the consistency of that fluid, that is also variably, it will be around 40 50 like that. It will be there slightly because the proteinaceous material is there inside, so the variation will be there. But all will be almost equal only will be there, but uh, the appearance is typical because this is, you see what, what this is the, what the typical uh, description of the uh, uh, CT of the amoebic liver abscess is there, the point of entry, that is what the, in our books it is described, what they are showing here, this is the point of entry, the indentation when you see this, mostly we will call this is a amoebic liver abscess, amoebic liver abscess, and the third one, the I will ask you to comment also. If you see the outside the lesion, almost uniform with the plenty edema, would that alert us that it is a non-infectious pathology? See this, if you any infected pathology, you expect edema outside, so it is edema. But if you see this, almost same thing, it is not. Would you comment on that? I mean, is I mean, wrong in the observation? No, that, that, is, that is one point which uh, we have to consider that one. Usually, if it is an infective one, because an inflammation is there, you will have some edema under the wall irregularity will be there inside the cystic uh, lesion. That is more in favor of an infective one. If it is purely hydrated or a congenital cyst, we will have and, uh, this one. One point against this one, see, you are seeing the biliary radicals here, contrast. That and all is taking up, right? So, in case of uh, biliary carcinomas, usually the irregularity will be there, and the enhancement also will be patchy like thing will be there, sclerosing, uh, carcinomas and all. But here, that it is not taking up because the only one section I am seeing it may be mm -hmm. over here. Uh, the third point I thought. How about the, the imaging of the right pole space? If it is infective pathology, we are going to have a uh, accelerated prolification at least times which can be detected in the scan. Am I right or not? Uh, not always, sir, but the uh, posterior superior surface, because of the plural reaction, you may have a blunting of the CP angle will be there, but uh, not always. That is more in favor of infective pathology. If we see, it is more in favor of infective pathology. That's what plus my mind. Hounsfield number, per edema, and plural lesion. 